грешная страсть. если б знала ты, что мне нужна. Dimash Kudebergen, a great artist who has grabbed the hearts of millions throughout the world, requires no introduction. His exceptional vocal range and engaging performances have piqued the interest of international talent scouts from the beginning. Dimash has dominated the music business with his exceptional talent and distinct flair. His soaring voice and amazing range have garnered him a loyal worldwide fan following, cementing his status as a real icon of modern music. Join us as we explore Dimash Kudebergen's extraordinary and intriguing world. Dimash was born to Kanat Aitbayev and Svetlana Aitbayeva in Kazakhstan's October region. He grew up in a close-knit musical household. Interestingly, his grandparents had an important part in his upbringing, which is customary in Kazakh society. Music runs in his family. His mother is a soprano singer with the Aktob Philharmonic Society, a member of the Standing Committee on Social and Cultural Development, and the creative director of a children's workshop. Meanwhile, his father served as the head of Aktob's Provincial Cultural Development Council. Dimash, like many young talents, began singing at a young age, but he also began playing the piano. He made his theatrical debut before he could walk, playing a tiny role in a local theater performance. Soon, hints of his enormous skill showed, and owing to his musically-minded family, everyone around him understood the value of his musical instruction. Dimash was discovered to have absolute pitch, a rare skill that enables a musician to reproduce any musical note they hear. When he was a toddler, he started taking piano and singing lessons at a neighborhood facility for children. That same year, he performed in front of an audience for the first time, and by 2000, he had won his first piano competition in Anilayan. Dimash's musical instruction lasted for several years. He attended gymnasium number 32, took a Broadway musical workshop, graduated from the K. Zubinov Music Institute with a major in singing, and went on to study contemporary music at the Kazakh National University of Arts. He's even been recommended for PhD studies in music, all while learning seven different musical instruments. Dimash's professional path has been continually rising. Between 2010 and 2014, he won four major singing contests across three countries. His second significant victory occurred in 2012 in Kazakhstan's National Jazz Kanat competition, when he received a perfect score of 180 out of 180 and gained great local notoriety. That same year, Dimash wrote and published his song, Korkumim, and was asked to play as a guest star at the Turkvizian Gala Night in Deniz Lee, Turkey. Dimash, also known as the Six Octave Man, continues to captivate audiences all around the world, cementing his status as one of the most accomplished artists of our day. Dimash Kudebergen sang in several European and Asian nations before being asked to compete in Belarus' annual international singing contest, the Slavic Bazaar, after an organizer watched him sing in Kazakhstan. His worldwide profile skyrocketed after he won the Grand Prix by a large margin in 2015, garnering considerable notice to his extraordinary abilities. Dimash began making regular appearances on national television shows and at public occasions. He was asked to play at Expo 2015 in Milan, Italy, the theater production. Main the 2015 Eurasia International Film Festival in Almaty, and an Astana opera event attended by Chinese President Xi Jinping. Dimash debuted his self-titled EP in 2016 and followed it up with multiple TV performances, including duets with other musicians and representing Kazakhstan on series such as Around the World in 80 Minutes of Music. His success grew with subsequent shows, including his first headlining tour in honor of Kazakhstan's 25th anniversary of independence. The tour, billed Unforgettable Day, contained a diverse selection of music in different languages and visited 21 of Kazakhstan's 25 scheduled regions. Dimash returned to the Slavic Bazaar the next year to sing during the opening ceremony when he sang a duet with Najma Eskaliyeva. He also returned to perform in the annual Jazz Kanat event, as well as Almaty's thousandth birthday extravaganza in France. Dimash had already established himself as a big figure in the music industry, and he had even been offered to join the Astana Opera State Theatre as an opera singer, but he rejected in favor of pursuing a career in modern music. Dimash participated in the fifth season of I Am a Singer in 2017, according to director Hunan Tao's recommendation. Following his success on the show, he appeared on other Chinese television shows and performed at a variety of events, including the Chinese Top 10 Music Awards in Shanghai, where he received his first Chinese award for Best Asian Singer. 
Dimash also played Unforgettable Day on stage at the Top Chinese Music Awards and won the Most Popular International Singer Award. Later that year, Dimash headlined Omri's Gaku Open Air Festival in front of over 150,000 people, as well as the Slavic Bazaar's closing ceremony. The next year, Dimash continued to create songs and perform for hundreds of thousands of fans throughout the world. In 2018, he even appeared at the 71st Can Film Festival. This was also the year he partnered with famed Russian composer Igor Krutoy, and they recorded their debut single, Love of Tired Swans, which was widely regarded as one of the year's greatest songs. Dimash brought his abilities to the world stage in early 2019, when he competed in CBS's talent show, The World's Best, earning the nickname, The Six Octave Man, for his incredible vocal range. His rendition of S.O.S. Dunterian and Detress at the audition demonstrated that his abilities much above those of the other participants on the competition. Despite being the apparent frontrunner, Dimash withdrew from the competition after performing All By Myself during the combat round. His rationale for resigning demonstrates his recognition of his talent. He declared that he did not want to fight against youngsters, emphasizing his desire for a fair competition. Despite his withdrawal, Dimash's songs had a big influence on the American music industry, owing in large part to his agreement with IPZ, an American talent marketing agency. Shortly after withdrawing, Dimash released his first album, ID, in China. The album was certified premium within 37 seconds of its debut and triple platinum within an hour. He also worked on further songs with Igor Kruto that year and appeared as a guest on the Igor Kruto Anniversary Tour, which included stops in New York City, Dubai, Minsk, and Dusseldorf. Dimash won Best Vocalist in Classical Music at the Russian National Music Awards, as well as a special honor for Discovery of the Year. His appearances and performances have grown in magnitude, reflecting his burgeoning popularity in the music industry. One of his most memorable moments was opening for the European Games in Minsk, when he debuted his song Olympico. Dimash became the first Kazakh musician to appear on MTV USA's official YouTube channel in September of the following year. In November, he was interviewed by Muzz TV. Dimash soon announced his first digital concert, which is set to take place in 2021. This online concert was a cooperation with Project CURE, and a portion of the earnings went to charity, a move many musicians supported given the lockdown limitations at the time. Over the last several years, Dimash has demonstrated how natural talent and hard effort must work in tandem to acquire the sort of popularity and critical praise he has. Whether he's performing at concerts, singing at public events, or competing in competitions, this iconic musician appears to have nothing left to prove, and yet he continues to rise. Dimash announced his new concert tour, Stranger, in July 2022, and it will take place in Kazakhstan in September of this year at Almaty's Central Stadium.